Friends, we're getting locked down. We're getting locked down from many different directions. And it's a little annoying, but still, you gotta roll with the punches and do the best you can. Right now, I can't really make a video for you. This is just a quick update because we got locked down the other day. I'm gonna tell you why and what that is all about. Let's go. So, I've got a lot of tools in the new side-by-side -side here, and that is because I need to do some home repairs. Not repairs that are safety related, not repairs that are going to, you know, if I don't do them, lead to the destruction of my house, but repairs that the insurance company has alluded to, or they're gonna drop me from their insurance. Hey, I'm right by the chicken coop, so we're gonna have to deal with that loud rooster. You know, I don't have time this week, honestly, to make a video about any project or anything going on here except for this. So I got an email from not my insurance company, but the underwriter for my insurance company a few weeks ago. Basically what they're stating is that I need to self-report, take pictures of all these things related to my house. And if they are not up to snuff, then they are going to drop me from their insurance. Now, I've been with this company, State Farm, for 20 years with no problems and I've never had anybody from the company ask me to do this before. Maybe some of you have run into this recently or say over the past four year or five years. They said if I didn't self-report that they would send an adjuster out here to take a look at my property. Well, I don't want anybody on my property taking a look at my things. My house is fine, it's safe, it's solid, there's no leaks, there's nothing going on with it. Now, I, I understand that if you want to insure a product, that you need to know what condition it's in. Over the past 20 years, nobody has ever asked me what condition the house was in. There's been appraisals on houses, of course. Or they've never asked me what condition a car has been in when I've called to insure that. I just call them up, say, hey, I bought this new used vehicle, which I always buy used, and this is what it is. They say, okay put you on the insurance, no problems. So the reason I'm going around the house is to finish up a few things that I hadn't finished before, like putting some of the siding on the new addition. And I know I did that years ago, but I just couldn't get to it. And I had the Tyvek wrap, there's no leaks, everything is fine. But I need to scramble and finish that up, as well as put some railing on the back stairs, off the deck, clean up some trees around the house because they freak out about any limb hanging just a slight bit over your roof. I've got to take pictures of the roof in every direction, the house in every direction. And there's some other little cosmetic things that I need to clean up, like under my carport. I keep a lot of tools and things, the girls' bikes, stuff like that. They don't like that. I know this because this happened to a friend of mine from my church in Tyler, Texas, just last year. And he was not given the option to self-report. So I am very thankful for that. They sent an insurance adjuster or agent, I don't know what the title of this person was, out to his property to walk around on it with him. They made him clean up like piles of what they thought were garbage. And in his case, they were extra materials for building projects on his property. They still made him move and clean it up. He had a back deck. He had things out there and it's covered. He had things stacked out there. They made him remove all of that stuff off of his back deck because it didn't look nice. They made him put a hand railing on a ramp on the side of his house. Well, this ramp is less than 18 inches above the ground and it's actually not required per code. And it is a self-built ramp. So it's not even for handicap purposes for his particular residence and it's a private residence. They still made him scramble and put a railing on it. They made him paint the house. Luckily, he had just gotten a new roof because he had some hail damage just prior to this insurance person coming out to his house and he had put a, a new, new metal roof on the house. So that worked out for him, but they made him fix his barn as well. And that's one of those, just those little shed barns from Home Depot. I know what some people are gonna say, well, you need to make your house look nice and they're the ones insuring it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but you have zero right to tell me to clean up a pile of garbage when all I have 
for neighbors are cows. Nobody's gonna look at it. It's not an eyesore to anybody, except maybe my wife. But here at my barn, and they do want pictures of outbuilding structures, I need to probably clean up some of this stuff. That's a royal pain in the rear end in nobody else's business but mine. And from talking to people, they freak out about vines. Now I got Virginia creeper that somehow got into the barn and it ran up the side and you can see it right there. Now, yes, I do understand vines have a detrimental impact upon houses or other structures. However, it's not that big of a deal because it takes a hundred years for any damage to really occur. How do I know that? Well, have you ever seen English ivy growing up the sides of buildings all throughout Europe? Yeah, you have. Does it hurt the building eventually? It does, but it's not that big of a deal. Again, I do understand it's an insurance company and yes, if they are insuring a product, they want it to be in good condition. But the thing gets me about the piles of what they deemed trash uh, on my friend's property and I'm gonna try to take my pictures as strategically as I can and upload to them and they only give you 15 days to do this. Friends, my point is it's getting more difficult and more difficult to do what you want to do on your own property. So many others think that they own your property, but they don't. And I get the insurance argument, but still, there is a limit, there's a line that they don't need to step over. Especially with us who live out in the middle of nowhere. It's just like all these little fiefdoms want to own your property, like HOAs, and try to dictate what you can do on your property. Yes, I get it. You move into a neighborhood that's got an HOA, you need to abide by the rules. However, many times they overstep their bounds, they change the rules, and they get out of control. People have lost their houses because HOAs have imposed fines on them for little things just because they didn't like them. All this garbage has to stop. This country was partially founded on the notion of individual private property rights. And that has all but been eroded. I've done videos in the past about companies who uh, won't let you self-install their products. You have to have a licensed person do it, even if you know exactly what you are doing. And so many of these things have gotten so out of control, you almost cannot do anything yourself anymore or do anything you want to on your own property. Now, I know I'm gonna get some communists arguing with me here on the channel. Your mind is so skewed. It's so corrupt to hate the individual and love the collective that you have zero clue what freedom actually means. I've owned my house for 10 years. And the thing that irks me is the insurance company has not wanted to know the condition of it ever until now. And maybe some people don't take care of their houses. I understand this. But if you follow the insurance industry at all, you know that they are just dropping people left and right for absolutely no reason. Look at the stories coming out of Florida and California. Why is that? They're really not paying that much out to people at all. They're finding loopholes to not have to pay people for damage to their homes from whether it be tornado, hurricane, fire, whatever it is, earthquake. They will go to the ends of the earth to not pay people. The money that people paid into that insurance company for peace of mind in case something ended up happening to their house, they are not getting it out. Now, is it better to have insurance than not have insurance? <sighs> That's the question, right? So I know two old ladies in this area from a local church who didn't have insurance on their homes because they, they dropped it. It got too expensive for them and their houses burnt down. One had to move into a nursing home and the other one, her garage was fine, it was detached. So us, as a church um, family, built her a temporary house within her garage, insulated all that kind of stuff. She lived there for three or four years. Would it have been better if she kept the insurance? <sighs> yeah, but she couldn't afford it anymore and people are just getting priced out left and right. So what are the insurance companies doing with all this money? Donating to DEI projects? Maybe. 
I'm just speculating. Friends, it's not gonna be too long into the near future where we might not be able to do anything on our own private property. I love what Governor DeSantis is pushing in Florida for no property taxes after your house is paid off or whatever the, the caveat is to that. If you've had a similar experience, I want you to tell me about it in the comment section below. And I know there are other videos out there about this topic. Maybe if enough people start talking about these things that something will change. So if you've had this experience and you like this video, then share it with your friends who maybe have also had a similar experience. All right, time to get to work. Have a beautiful blessed day and we'll see you on the next video.